Hey loves, welcome to World Goes High. This is going to be general collective reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Let's see what's coming towards you, Taurus, at this time. Won't drag it out. Let's jump right on into it. Starting off with your energy, utilizing the Light Sears Tarot. Let's see how you guys have been feeling, and then we'll use the index cards to see who or what is coming towards you at this time. Messages are general. Take what resonates. Messages are timeless. It could be a past, present, or future energy. Um, you'll know before I do. <laughs> okay. I see the Seven of Wands popping out, guys, first. Some of you guys could be a bit defensive right now, protective, fighting for something that you feel is rightfully yours, or even possibly even fighting for yourself right now, you know, um, standing your ground right now. You're not going to back down to something or someone. You're going to make sure that you are heard. You're going to protect your vision. You're going to protect how you feel. It's like, I'm not going to go back and forth with you on this. I said what I said. Yeah, I'm getting the energy like I said what I said. You said what you said, Taurus, and you're not going to apologize or how you feel, getting this energy that someone may want you to be apologetic about something and you're not going for it. It's like, apologize for what? Yeah, we have here the Four of Cups, okay? And I also see here the Four of Swords reverse. All right, so I feel like, you know, you guys could have possibly given up on something or someone or you're starting to feel that something isn't worth investing in anymore. Something isn't worth your, your energy, your time anymore. You could simply just be bored with someone. And so you've decided to, you know, focus on other things. When I think of the four of swords reverse, it makes me, yeah, you see it's something as a bad investment. But when I think of the four of swords reverse, it makes me feel as though like someone isn't getting enough rest. They're not getting enough time, you know, to... They're not giving enough time to something. So someone could be feeling this way about you, Taurus, or you could simply just be feeling like something isn't worth investing in anymore. It's a bad investment. The Ace of Pentacles reverse is literally a bad investment. You're bored with something and you're like, I'm not going to apologize for how I feel. Somebody wants you to fight for something, fight for them. Okay, Seven of Wands, but you're not, you're not moved. You're not willing to anymore. It's like... I feel like you feel you've already wasted enough time. You've already wasted enough energy on this thing or this uh, person or situation. And so you feel like, you know, to give any, any more, it would just be charity work. I, I don't benefit from this. Why would I fight for this? Why, why would I go for this when I know that at the end of the day, I'm not truly benefiting from this? So you don't want to invest in this anymore. It's something you're just tired of. You're bored with it. You're, you, there's no more passion. There's no more fire there. You're over it. We have the strength reverse and the high priestess. Yeah, I feel that something is um possibly challenging you. Okay, it's like I feel that you, you feel burnt out with whatever this situation is, whatever this is in regards to, you just feel burnt out. You guys could be dealing with uh, Leo or um, Pisces. But I feel like you're just like, you know, my intuition is telling me something isn't right. So I'm not even going to take it that far. I'm not going to give my all. I'm not going to, you know, give my courage, my time, my strength towards something that my spirit is telling me is not going to work out. It's like you trust your spirit so much that no one or no, nothing can tell you anything. Like, period. Like I said, I said what I said is the energy that this is given you know, without there being anybody else influencing you or telling you, you know how you feel about something and you're not going to waver when it comes to this. You're like, you know, I, I, I made up my mind. So you made up your mind about something, Taurus, and I feel that it's rubbing someone the wrong way. They're bothered by it. But again, you're not going to apologize for how you feel because it's true to who you are. Okay, standing in your power, standing in your power, you have here the world reverse. Okay, so I do feel that, you know, whether you gain closure or not is not your concern. You're, you're no longer looking for closure from the situation or from whatever this is. 
you're not looking for closure. I feel like in your, in your past, because, you know, the world energy represents a full journey, okay? So, the, like, the ending and the beginning, I feel that you've realized during different chapters of your life that you don't need closure, okay? Or you, you provide yourself with that closure. You don't allow someone else to have you waiting before you decide to let things go or move forward with your life, okay? So, you're not sitting still and waiting on somebody to provide you with the closure that you could give to yourself. You've been, you've made the final decision on something. You've made a final decision on something, and um, it's providing you with the closure that you need, but whoever you are dealing with or whatever the situation you are dealing with, they don't feel closure. And so they could be looking to you for that, and you feel like, that's not my job. I'm not fighting for this. I don't have to give you that. I don't have to invest any more time into this because either you're going to get it or you're not. It's a pinnacles reverse. It's like this person, they don't understand how this is a waste of time. So it's kind of like beating a dead horse. You're not going to be able to get through this person and you know that. So you've already come to the conclusion that I'm good. I'm good with this ending. I'm good with things like stopping right here and me moving forward with my life. I'm good with it. You're good with it because you've already, you know, decided that it's no longer good for you. Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, this person, they're grieving the loss of you. And I feel that in the, you know, re reverse position for you is like you have began healing. You don't see it as a loss. You don't see it as defeat. You don't take it. You don't view it the same way as them. This person is looking at it like, you know, we were supposed to be on some shit and you're just looking at it like wow you know that was a nice chapter that was a nice little part of my journey right there okay now let's move on forward look at this as i split the deck we were so close somebody is looking and feeling like you know why are you doing this to me why are you so easily you know ready to detach from me taurus it's like because this has run its course i'm not going to look to you for my happiness and my joy if i'm bored I'm not feeling this connection anymore. It, that's it. There's no need for us to keep on acting like it's, it, you know, it's more than what it is. You're not holding on to the past. You've learned your lesson. You've learned your lesson. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they ain't got it yet. They ain't got it yet. So let's see who's coming towards you, Taurus. How are they feeling? What are their energy? We already saw that we are so close to energy. So somebody is definitely trying to hold on to the past because they love you. They love you. They're like, why won't you see it? You know, the chemistry we had, you know, we were so close. We were so connected. I'm in love with you. That It's like these words, I'm hearing these words, mean so much to them, Taurus. Just because they love you and you love them and, you know, all this uh, shit, back and forth bullshit. Like, you like, that don't mean we're supposed to be together. That don't mean we're supposed to be this match made in heaven, it just means that we have something. Let's appreciate it for what it was and move forward. We're not those same people anymore. We're not in that energy anymore. We don't feel the same way anymore. You don't feel the same way, Taurus. This person, they may be uh, under an illusion, okay? Stuck in the past in the worst way to a place where they're not able to gain the closure or the healing that they need because they're still stuck on you. They need to get over it. Uh huh. You found me in a hard place. This person that feeling like you know, you were the one that made them feel better. You were the one that that made shit feel lighter for them. You made this person feel like they could take over the world. You relieved a lot of pain. You possibly met this person during a space where you guys could have possibly trauma bonded, or they cling to you, attached to you, because you gave them some sense of peace. They they didn't really know how to fend for themselves or they didn't know how to stand up for themselves or fight for their own happiness. This person, they looked to you to provide them with that. Now that you're no longer invested, they are they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. So they're like an energy vampire in a sense, like they are holding on to you for dear life in order for their own sanity. And it's a bit fucked up to put all that pressure on you towards and tell you that right now this person they're, they're not wrapped too tight is what I'm picking up. Yeah, we have very emotional detachment. The, the most dangerous thing about this person is they don't show you. They don't really show you that they feel this way. They try to act real cool. They try to act nonchalant. Uh, you know, I feel like they try to act detached, but they're losing their mind. That's what makes them a little bit dangerous. I know you ain't scared or worried about shit, but 
this person they're unstable emotionally so they'll snap they're like easily triggered when you don't answer their phone call when you don't respond to them when you don't you know engage with them or their behavior or their attempts to you know get some type of reaction out of you you're bored with them and so it's like you they're trying to do something drastic to get you to see them for you know they, they want you to view them in a light that you guys should be in love together or you guys should be together you guys should you know um make things work they want you to view them in this light and i feel that those days are gone they're long gone you acting like you really want it you gonna get it this person i feel like they're a bit um like i said delusional Okay, so the more you back away from them, the more they take it as like, you're just playing hard to get. Yeah, this person, they, they're a little bit fucked up in the head. They feel like you gave up on them too soon. Okay, it's like they refuse to, what was this song? Um, I, I forget the name of the song, but it was Kate Michelle, and she was basically saying, um, you'll tell me it's over and I'll tell you, or I'll pretend I heard you told me I'm your own. You know, so it's like they hear what they want to hear. They hear what they want to hear. They feel like they know you, and no one is going to be good for you but them. This person is nutty. You're the one I want to be next to. I feel like this person compares you to others or even like, kind of all over the place to a space where they could even be engaging in other situations and they envision you they think of you they mimic um the relationship they have with you so they're looking for people like little minions they're looking for people that are going to be just like you in a relationship but it's like overall they want you they're trying to find a way to hold on to um the connection that you all had so these new people that they're dealing with they don't even know that they're basically just little pawns in this little t sick ass twisted ass game like little replicas of you they only look for people that remind them of you he a keeper this person they view you as the one okay they view you as everything that they could have imagined everything that they could have hoped for i feel like this person they're also a little bit um Picking up an energy, if you if you have something that you gave this person, like when you guys were together, they hold on to it for dear life. It could be like a bracelet, something like that is what I'm picking up. You gave this person something and they, they hold on to it and like, you know, it could even possibly go around telling people that you guys are together, like, you know, like you're a keeper and they want you to, you know, see them as like, you know, they want you to be okay with this behavior. They want you to play along with it. Like, even if you guys aren't physically together, they still want you to treat the situation as though you guys are together. Like, you know, if somebody asks you, it's like, yeah, me and my so-and-so, we're not together, but that's still my, the love of my life. Or I was my first love. They wanted to be like known in that sense, like, you know, when it comes to you. Like you were their first love, they're your first love, or you're loyal to them, they're loyal to you type of shit. Like, person's toxic. Yeah, they're with all the bullshit. They don't care. They don't give a fuck. It's like they, they just want to be connected with you no matter what the case may be. You guys could be dealing with the Pisces. Okay, we saw that energy as well with the High Priestess. You guys could be dealing with the Pisces, and they're just in, like, dreamland. <laughs> yeah, no more games. Some of you guys are, you know, going to soon be connecting with someone who is not really into any, like, you know, immature games, any fuckery. Somebody wants to uh, show you the difference between what you've had and what you could have. Didn't we just say this? Did we just say somebody's dreaming that Pisces energy? Yeah, somebody is definitely like, I'm hearing an illusionist. They, they're definitely like, they're pretending Play pretending as though other people are you. They make other people dress like you. They could even buy people like certain similar things. It's like this person does some weird type of shit. Whatever you've given them, they give it to other people. 
to make them attracted to them. Like they they're looking for you and other people. Simply put, do what I say, no matter how I spit it. This person is batshit crazy about you. And again, I feel like they have other people under this um under like false pretense of of you. Like they. <laughs> can't have you so instead they go around saw 1515 very obsessed and possessive controlling they have other people trying to uh be like you i don't think these people are even yeah, i'll get you right they're trying to like mold other people to be what they <laughs> what they want they only want you and they can't have you so they're gonna create you is what i'm picking up this is some weird shit this is weird <laughs> Can I take you out tonight? Um, meanwhile, you have someone else that really wants to court you, treat you at this time, Taurus. Someone's got their eye on you. You deserve the best me. Yeah, someone is like, I feel like someone is aware that you've gone through this shit here. <laughs> Could be like someone like a best friend or just like someone that you confide in, someone that you trust. And they really just want to get you away from the stupid shit. Like, it could even just be, like, a friend that's trying to plug you with someone else. Like, okay, I know you're dealing with that nutcase. Let me take you out tonight. Let's go out, have some drinks. Let's have fun. Let's, let me introduce you to someone else. So someone's trying to introduce you to someone else. I'm just too much for you. you know, the other person you're dealing with, they're definitely doing too much. I feel like you don't care for their energy. You're not... Um, you don't take them seriously. You don't really view them as anything outside of um, someone you used to know. And that is what really irks this person's nerves. So I feel like they just overdo it to try to get your attention here. They're doing too much entirely. Make me a happy home. Again, this person still thinks that you guys are together. They are. They're, <laughs> they think you guys have a, a happy home. Like, they feel like they come first no matter what. Like, oh, I'm Taurus, is so-and-so. Fuck the rest of these hoes. I'm this, I'm that. And I don't think you even know this person is doing this. <laughs> you don't even know. Or you just simply don't give a fuck. Um, good love is more than fucking. I feel like somebody is going to show you a different side of them, Taurus. Something you never expected. Someone that you are, you know, close to. They really like you. This could be a friend. I'm picking up friend energy that is just tired of you going through the stupid shit that you've been dealing with. And so they're trying to find you. Um, you know, they're trying to either hook you up with someone else or they are the someone else. Last two cards. You know, you missed this shit. Here goes the nut case. They feel like you missed them and you're just fronting. And last but not least, we have... <laughs> I'm not giving up on this. Well, the crazy motherfucker ain't giving up, okay? They're not giving up. I feel like you know who you're dealing with, and you know what you did to have them on batshit crazy like this. So you're going to have to um deal with that. <laughs> All right, Taurus, that's what you get. That's what your ass get for dealing with these crazy people. I love you guys. I hope it helps, and I'll see you next time.